And today, we take another major step forward by breaking ground on the Battery Coastal Resilience Projects. And every day, we're, we're at a race against the next uh, superstorms that have impacted our infrastructure. We're also calling on the federal government to bolster the essential work by creating regular federal funding for this type of infrastructure. So we have to build a safer, stronger, and more sustainable city. All of the phone numbers in this city, there's one that everyone knows, 911. That's the number that you respond to. And you will prove them wrong every day. No matter what they say, you're going to make New York City have the safest streets in America. And I'm proud to be the commander in chief of the greatest police department on the globe. And if it was just uh, someone who was selling weed in their store, uh, that would be one thing, but these shops have become a magnet for crime. So they have been zero in, in targeting young people, but we were able to uh, get some alterations in the laws that's going to allow you to go out and do your job and close down as many of these shops as possible. I love America, and the reason we are here it's because of these heroes of World War I, and we cannot remain silent when our symbols of freedom are desecrated. Not only was this statue desecrated, but down the block, another statue was desecrated. They are crimes, and they will be treated as one. This is a real victory. Uh, for Sammy's, for Susan's, for uh, all of our children that want to move our cities to a safe place. We're here today because too many children have been hit and killed by cars speeding through our city streets. Today we celebrate in honor of Sammy, celebrate the passage and the signing of Sammy's Law. This law allows to reduce speeds from 25 to 20 and from 15 to 10 miles per hour in special slow zones, including around schools. When you see these pieces of legislation, it's responding directly to the needs of family and what they're asking for.